Apostle June Perez is the senior and founding pastor of the Jesus Christ the Glorious Savior International Ministry, also known as the Glorious Church, a full gospel non-denominational independent missionary church. He pioneered and established churches nationwide in the Philippines, in the island groups of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, and continues to increase numerically. Apostle June Perez graduated and was ordained as a minister of the gospel at Antioch Bible Training Center. He was licensed as a minister under the International Word Fellowship from Tulsa, Oklahoma. He received his honorary master's degree in theology and was awarded with the title Doctor of Divinity under the Open Seminary in California, USA. He received his theological degree at the Development Academy for Pastors in Padova, Italy. He is one of the Board of Trustees and Directors of Harvest International Ministry. He is a vision keeper of the Elevate Apostolic Network Philippines. He also taught at Asia Bible College, Living Word Mission, and other Bible schools. He served as a mentor of the Glorious International School of Leaders Training Program, which was founded by him and his wife, Rev. Anna Karen Perez, last February 2011, in fulfillment of a vision to equip more brethren to be the leaders of the end-time generation. He continues to serve by equipping and empowering the fivefold ministers and mentoring disciples and fathering the next generation. Reverend Anna Karen Perez, or known as Karen Perez, is the wife of Apostle June Perez, co-founder and associate pastor of Jesus Christ the Glorious Savior International Ministry, or known as the Glorious Church. She's an alumna of BMVTC, a recipient of an honorary degree in Masters of Divinity, a Bible school administrator and instructor, a spiritual mentor, a spirit-led preacher of the word, and a missionary who travels regularly with Apostle June Perez. With over 20 years of service in the ministry, she boldly speaks the word of God with sensitivity and humility. Her heart is to see people embrace and to love the word of God. For over long years of God's faithfulness, Apostle June Perez had proven that it is the Holy Spirit at work through him and in him. With a strong desire and gift towards winning souls, he and his wife, First Lady Anna Karen Perez, travel and minister around nations worldwide, doing evangelistic meetings, conducting revivals, acting as conference speakers, mentoring pastors of the pastors nationwide in the Philippines, as well as in nearby nations in Asia, Europe, Canada, North America, and the United Kingdom. Ladies and gentlemen, Apostle June Perez and Reverend Anna Karen Perez. Give him praise. Give him glory. Let's welcome him tonight in our midst. Hallelujah. Woo. Are you ready for the word tonight? Pakisabi sa katabi ng ingnang imong tapad na ay word ang ginoo sa imong sa imuha karong gabi. Hallelujah. God has a word for you tonight. Pasensya na muha kay mag in English ko mag tinagalog o Tabangi na lang kung magbinisaya po. So, dili lang takaroon bilingual, trilingual, tarong gabi. Eh. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen ba? Shall we stand for the reading of the Word of God tonight? Hallelujah. The Word of the Lord found in 1 Kings. 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19. Hallelujah. 1 Kings 19, verse 19. Shall we read together? Basaho nato, sabay-sabay nating babasahin ang salita ng Diyos. Ready? Read. So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, while he was plowing with twelve pairs of oxen before him, and he with the twelve. And Elijah passed over to him and threw his mantle on him. Say amen to the word of God. Mag-ampu tang tanan, salamat ginoor, maraming salamat o Diyos sa gabing ito, sa oras na ito. I thank you that you are here. Your spirit is with us. You will talk to us tonight. Minister to us tonight, Lord. Let them hear you tonight. Let your people see you and not see me. Let them hear you and not hear me. Father, only your voice, only your word 
will be heard in this place tonight. Father, I thank you that your spirit is working in me, through me, and with me tonight. Let your will, your plan, and your purpose be accomplished tonight in this place. And we give you in advance the glory, the honor, and the praise for the things you're about to do tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. Amen. Upo na po tayo sa presensya ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Pwede nang umupo. Purihin ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Ako'y nagagalak. And I'm so blessed to share this word. This word has been in my heart for, for many, many years. I've preached about it in every place that I go to. I, I love to share the word of God. Especially, this is one of my favorite texts in the scripture when it wherein it talks about Elisha and Elijah. Kinsa na kaila kang Elijah? Amen. Si Elisha, kaila po tangtanan, no? Nabasa na nato sa Biblia ang uh, kinabuhi ni Elijah o ni Elisha. And I believe that tonight, God has a word for us through this text that we've just read. Because I believe when God start something in our life, nobody can stop it. Pag may inumpisahan ang Diyos sa buhay natin, walang sino mang makakapigil sa bagay na inumpisahan ng Diyos. Can I hear an amen? If God started something, nobody, nothing and no one can stop what God has started in your life. Because he who began a good work in you shall be able to finish it until the coming, until the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can I hear an amen? Walang makakapigil. Sabihin mo sa kaliwat kanan mo, walang makakapigil. Walang makakapigil. Nobody can hinder what God has started in our life. Can I hear an amen? Now the text says, the Bible says, Sabi sa Biblia, So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shephat. Hallelujah. Nagkita si Elijah o si Elisha. Nagkita ang duha ka lalaki. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Elijah found Elisha. It means Elijah was looking for Elisha. Hinahanap pala niya ang lalaking si Elisha. At nung magkita sila, the Bible says, He found, He found Elisha. Don't you know that God is looking? God is looking. He is watching. Naghahanap ang Diyos ng tao, ng isang lalaki. Naghahanap ang Diyos na isang babae na kanyang pagpapalain sa gabing ito. Nandito pa yung hinahanap ng Diyos. Can I hear an amen? God is looking for a person, for a man, for a woman whom He can elevate, whom He can bless, whom He can favor. Naghahanap ang Diyos. Sabihin mo, ako yun. Ako yung hinahanap ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Nahanap, nakita ni Elijah. Itong si Elisha. And alam naman nating lahat na itong si Elijah ay hindi ordinaryong tao. Isang propeta. Sabihin natin, propeta, propeta. Elijah is a prophet of God and there's no prophet like him. There was no prophet, no one like Elijah. Alam naman natin na itong si Elisha, siya lang naman ang nagpasara sa kalangitan at hindi umulan sa buong Israel ng tatlong taon. Amen? 
Amen? Itong si Elijah, siya lang naman yung nag-multiply. Pinarami niya ang arena at langis ng babaeng balo. Elijah, Elijah is the person who raised the widow's son from the dead. Siya lang naman yung bumuhay ng patay itong si Elijah. And we know that Elijah brought rain to end the drought. Siya lang naman yung nagpaulan pagkatapos ng tagtuyot na nalangin si Elijah at natapos ang tagtuyot, bumuhos ang ulan. Kapatid, sa gabing ito, naniniwala ako na may pagbuhos ng ulan sa lugar na ito. Ipubuhos ng Diyos ang ulan. Ulan ng pagpapala. Ulan ng pabor. Ulan ang bubuhos sa lugar na ito. Say amen. Woo! Hallelujah. Bumuhos ang ulan. Pagkatapos ng mahabang taon ng tagtuyot, itong si Elijah ang nanalangin. Elijah was a great man of God. And Elisha had the privilege of being mentored by Elijah. Isang napakalaking pribilihyo para kay Elisha ang siya'y maturuan ni Elijah. We see in this passage, we see the importance of having an Elijah in our life. Mahalaga sa buhay ng bawat Kristiyano, meron kang Elijah. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Kilala mo na ba sa gabing ito ang Elijah ng buhay mo? Amen. Because all of us need somebody to pour into us. We need somebody to mentor us. We need somebody to father us. We need somebody. And we all know that in the Bible, there are a lot of mentorship relationship. Just like Jethro and Moses. Eli and Samuel. Mordecai and Esther. Jesus and his disciples. Can I hear an amen? Elijah, we all need to be in a mentorship relationship. Amen. Kinahanglan nga naatay Elijah sa atong kinabuhi. Amen. We need to connect with somebody who is further along than you are. Yung mga taong mas marami ng karanasan. Yung mga taong sinasamahan ng Diyos. Sabi nga ni Pastor John kanina kahapon, sabi niya masarap samahan ang mga taong sinasamahan ng Diyos. Can I hear an amen? Amen. Because we need somebody. That's why you have to discern the spirit of Elijah upon a man and a woman of God. Kailangan makita natin yung spirit of Elijah pag pinadalhang ka ng lingkod ng Diyos. Kung meron ko nitong spirit of Elijah, you have to discern the Elijah spirit behind every man and every woman of God and you need to connect with them. Say amen. Sabi mo sa kaliwat kanan, kumunekta ka, kumunekta ka. Amen? Kumunekta tayo sa mga padala ng Diyos sa buhay natin. May mga ipapadalang Elijah ang Diyos sa buhay natin. Can I hear an amen? And your Elijah is number one, your pastor. Can I hear an amen? Connect with your mentor because your mentor carries a mantle. We need to connect to our mentor because our mentor, they carry a mantle. You will never have the mantle of anointing if you don't connect to your mentor. Can I hear an amen? But if you have a mentor with a mantle, you will go to places you have never been before. You will see things you've never seen before. And you will be able to do things you've never done before if you have a mentor that carries a mantle. Woo! Hallelujah! Amen? Kung yung pastor mo may bit-bit na anointing sa buhay. Hallelujah. Dikitan mo na yan. Huwag mong lubayan. Can I hear an amen? 
Kung may didikit ang ka na rin lang, huwag kang dumikit-dikit sa mga politiko o kung sino mang mayaman. Dikitan mo ang mga taong kilala, alam ang presensya, may bit-bit na kapangyarihan. Amen! Hallelujah. Sabi mo, dikitan na to, dikitan na to. Hallelujah. Woo! Amen. Amen. Nung magkita ang dalawa, hindi na humiwalay itong si Elijah kay Elijah. He found a mentor. What is a mentor? Ano ba ang mentor? Bago ko po ituloy ito, bibigyan ko muna kayo ng puntasyon. What is a mentor? You have to know who your mentor is. Because marami tayong misconception pagdating sa mentor. Ano ba talaga ang mentor? A mentor carries He carries a direction. May bit-bit na direksyon ang mentor. A mentor carries a plan. May plano siyang bit-bit, hindi sabog. Ha? A mentor carries a purpose. Alam niya ang layunin kung anong pinagagawa ng Diyos sa kanya. He carries the purpose, the plan, and direction, and strategy for his mentee. Alam ng mentor mo kung saan ka pupunta. Alam ng mentor mo kung ano ang kung anong dapat mong gawin. Your mentor, just because someone led you to the Lord, does not mean they are your mentor. Can you hear an amen? Hindi porket siya ang nag-lead sa'yo. Nilead ka sa Panginoon. You pray the prayer of salvation. Mentor na siya. No, no, no. Ang, ang, ang tawag natin dyan, midwife. Spiritual midwife, nagpaanak, hallelujah, na ipanganak kang muli, na born again ka through that person, that person is a spiritual midwife, ang tawag dyan, amen? Just because someone has impressed you with his ministry and is close to you, does not mean he's a mentor to you, that only means he's a spiritual hero. Can I hear an amen? Na impress ka, na papa, wow ka, wow, grabe, ang galing. Spiritual hero yun. Can I hear an amen? Just because someone is financially better off, pinoprovide, inaabutan ka, pagkalamano sa imuha, naadayoy mga pakapin nga, sa lamano, pakapin sa lamano, hallelujah. <laughs> It doesn't mean that they are your mentor. They, they may be your financier. Amen. Can I hear an amen? And just because Somebody opens the door for you. It doesn't mean they are your mentor. They're just a doorman. Amen. Nagbukas ang 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 sang bansa sa you dahil sa taong ito. Nagbukas ang ministerio dahil sa taong ito. Doesn't mean they are your mentor. They're just a doorman or the usher. Can I hear an amen? Yung nag-advice sa you hindi rin yun mentor. Ang tawag don adviser. Yung nag-encourage sa'yo, hindi rin yun mentor, encourager. Amen. Yung nagturo sa'yo, teacher ang tawag doon. But your mentor carries a plan, a strategy, a purpose, direction. He will teach you, he will advise you, he will encourage you, he will pray for you. That's a mentor. Can I hear an amen? It is important to have a mentor in life. Kasi ito yung nakita namin sa mahabang panahon naming pag-iikot sa body of Christ, sa mga churches. A lot of Christians have a potential to become great leaders. A lot of Christians have the potential. Pwede na sanang maging kagamit-gamit sa Diyos. But because nobody mentored them, dahil walang nag-mentor sa kanila or ayaw nilang pa-mentor, they did not reach their full potential. Pakisabi, I need a mentor. Ito yung nakita namin na in, in, in the body of Christ, a lot of Christians have become mentorless. They have been doing the right thing but at the wrong time. Gumagawa ng tamang bagay pero mali ang panahon. Wrong timing ba? 
Maganda na sana yung ginagawa, pero wrong timing ka, Brad. Okay sana yan, pero wrong timing. Some of the Christians are doing the right thing, but at the wrong place. Di ba? Tinood. Ha? Tama ang ginagawa, pero mali yung lugar. Amen? Because they have no mentor. They're doing the right thing, but with the wrong reason. Mali kasi ang motibo. Pero tama yung ginagawa. But church tonight, I believe that God will place us at the right pe with the right people at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. Can I hear an amen? Ilalagay tayo ng Diyos sa tamang lugar, sa tamang oras, kasama ang mga tamang tao sa buhay natin. Say amen! Say amen. That's why it is important to have an Elijah-Elisha connection, an Elijah-Elisha relationship. Because I believe that there is an Elisha generation that is rising up in this place. Hindi niyo ko narinig. Sabi ko, there's an Elisha generation that is rising up in this place. Elishas who will receive the double portion anointing. Sino kaya yung mga yun? Sino kaya yung tatanggap ng double portion? Sino yun? Dito gusto ko marinig yung gusto tumanggap ng double portion. Can I hear you say hallelujah? Woo! Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Because you must know who you're, Elijah. If you're an Elisha, you must know who you're, Elijah. That's why when Elijah and Elisha, nung magkita sila, nung makita ni Elijah itong Elisha, itong si Elisha, hindi naglalaro. Nung magkita sila. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Si Elisha, hindi nakaupo. Pabanjing-banjing lang. Amen. Nung makita ni Elisha, si Elijah, hindi siya nakanganga. Amen. Nung magkita sila, Nakita nitong Elisha, Elijah si Elisha, na nag-aaral. Amen? What does the Bible say? Anong sabi ng Biblia? Pairam nga ng upuan dyan, yung bakanting upuan. He found Elisha. Halika dito, Martin. Total, ikaw na rin lang may hawak yan. He found Elisha, the son of Shem, while he was plowing. Kunwari, ito yung plow. Uh, araro, sa Bisaya, unsa na ang araro? Gadaro, Ana. Sige, pagdaro sa daro. Daro, gadaro! Gadaro si Elisha. Gadaro, wala ganganga. Gadaro, amen. Hindi tulala, nag-aararo. May ginagawa. Sabihin mo sa katabi mo, may ginagawa, may ginagawa. Amen. Diyan ka lang, diyan ka lang. Hallelujah. Sabi mo ulit, may gagawin tayo, may gagawin tayo. May gagawin tayo. Amen. Nag-aararo, gadaro. Ha? Anak siya. Ha? At ang sabi ng Bible, ayun, wala ginana. Kita lang mo ginana. Bukid, daghan, no? Ha? Kinsa diri mga ga, ga, gadaro, gauma. Uy, no, oh, diri. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Sino yun? Sino yun nagtaas ng kamay? Ga-ga-ga-ga-ga-uma ga, diri. Tayo nga, Brad. Ha? Pwede bang ma-interview kayo, sis? Ay, pastora. Ah, gadaro ka, pastora. Hallelujah. Unsay feeling, o oh, anang gadaro? Nindot. Ay, nindot. Praise God, nindot. Hallelujah. Pero pag taas ang adlaw ba? Init na. Init na, Job. Lisod na kayo. Lisod, magdaro kung init, no? Hallelujah. Nabay kay kakita, pastor, gadaro nga. G -g -g Katawa, ay! <laughs> Lami niya kayo magdaro, ay! Lami niya, ay! Ha! 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 Nana? Wala! Magtanim, ay, di biro. 
Maghapong na kayo ko. Ingon nga. Ingon, ingon di ba sa kanta? Amen. Lisod biya. Amen. Ingnay mong tapad. Lisod biya. Lisod biya na. Amen. 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 Lisod magdaro. Dili na. Simple nga trabaho. Amen. Amen. So itong si Elisha. He was plowing the field when Elijah found him. And Elijah, the Bible says, Elisha, sabi ng, Eli, ng Bible si Elisha, merong 24 oxen. 24, kakabaw. Hallelujah. Pagkadaghan, bagyot. Iniining kabaw. Now, ang, ang, ang isang mag-uuma nga, ordinaryong mag-uuma, usara yung kabaw, kabaw, no? Usara. Ito si Kuan, si Elisha, 24 ang kabaw. Grabe! Noong panahon pala nila noon, panahon ni Elisha at Elijah, ang, ang, ang oxen para itong sasakyan, katumbas ng sasakyan. No? Sa panahon nila, ang, ang oxen is the means of transportation sa hanap buhay ginagamit ninyan. Ang ordinaryong pamilya na aray usa. They have only one oxen. But Elisha had 24 oxen. Grabe! No? So, pwede natin sabihin na may kaya. May kaya ang pamilya ni Elisha. 24 ba naman? Kung, kung, kung sa panahon natin ngayon, may sasakyan siyang 24. Hallelujah! Grabe! Na ay Mitsubishi, na ay Toyota, na ay Honda, na ay SUV. Grabe! 24! Ha? So, hindi ordinary yung tao itong si Elisha. Gikan sa well-to-do family. May, ka, may kaya, pero hindi naging tamad. Nagtatrabaho pa rin. Amen! Amen! He was a responsible man. He was not a lazy person. At alam nyo, itong itong tinirhan nilang lugar, sabi sa, sa mga theologian, itong lugar na tinirhan ni Elisha, this is the bread basket of Israel. Dito nagmumula lahat. Ito yung, this is the best land. He, he lived in the best land. Kung baga, sa panahon natin, dito sa ating lugar, nasa Makati siya nakatira. Grabe. It's, it's known as the bread basket. It, it, he had servants. May mga katulong. And he had lots of oxen. He belonged to a wealthy family. And yet, he was not irresponsible or lazy. Amen. Dili tapulan si Elisha. Ingnay mong tapad. Wala na'y tapulan dire. Wala na'y tapulan kristyano. Amen. Lahat tayo masigasig sa Diyos. Say amen. So the text says, So he departed from there and found Elisha, the son of Shaphat, who was plowing. He was plowing all of his life. Alam nyo, ang gagamitin sa huling panahong ito, God will use the, the people whom God will use in these last days are the ones who are pushing the plow. Amen. Yung mga taong gagamitin ng Diyos sa huling panahon, katong mga gadaro. Amen. Anong ibig sabihin ng pag-aararo? Kung minsan, kapatid, yung pag-aararo hindi madali. Kung araw-araw kang nag-aararo, ang pag-aararo, ang ibig sabihin niyan, yan yung pananalangin mo. Yan ang pag-ampo. Araw-araw kang nag-aampo. Adlaw-adlaw nga dagadayig. Adlaw-adlaw nga nagasimba sa ginoo. Adlaw-adlaw nga nagahalad ng alagad. Nag-aararo, araw-araw. Can I hear any man? May ginagawa. Amen. Elisha would push the plow on good days and on bad days. Maganda ang araw niya o hindi maganda, mag-aararo pa rin siya. Amen. Alika Elisha. Umuulan. Sige, araro. Umuulan o umaraw. 
mag-aararo yan. Amen. Magandang araw o pangit na araw, mag-aararo yan. Can I hear an amen? Pag may kumukontra sa kanya, mag-aararo pa rin yan. Itaas o ibaba ng tao, mag-aararo yan. Sisiraan man, itaas man siya, mag-aararo yan. Why pag undang? Ingnay mong tapat, ayaw undang. Ayaw undang do, ayaw giyod pag undang. Amen. Huwag kang hihinto sa pag-aararo. Huwag kang hihinto sa pananalangin. Huwag kang huminto sa paglilingkod sa Diyos. Amen. Thank you, Marvin. Hallelujah. Walang hinto. Ayaw paghunong. Ingna, ayaw hunong. Ayaw hunong sa pag-alagad sa ginoo. Ayaw hunong sa pagsimba, sa pagdayig, sa paghatag, sa pag-alagad. Ayaw hunong. Say amen. Ingna, ang tapad ulit. Ayaw hunong. Ayaw hunong sa pag-alagad. Ayaw hunong yun. Ayaw. Ayaw. Amen. Sisiraan ka sa Facebook. Ayaw hunong. Dili mag-like sa imong post. Ayaw paghunong. Hallelujah! Amen! Na kay hater, ayaw paghunong. Amen! Huwag kang hihinto kahit anong mangyari because He who began a good work in you, He will faithfully complete it. Say amen. Amen. Sabi mo sa kaliwat kanan, huwag kang hihinto, huwag susuko. Amen. Minsan, sisiraan ka ng kapitbahay mo. Sisiraan ka ng beshi mo. Hallelujah. Sisiraan ka ng kumari mo. Huwag kang bibigay. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, huwag kang bibigay. Sige, kuhita, kuhita. Ang imong tapad, huwag kang bibigay. Huwag kang bibigay. Amen. Tinanggal ka sa trabaho, huwag kang bibigay. Amen. Nawalang ka, huwag kang bibigay. Amen! Siniraan ka ng tao, binaba ka ng tao, tinaas ka, inangat ka, binaba ka uli. Huwag kang bibigay. Can I hear an amen? Amen. And so the Bible says, Then Elijah passed by him. Habang nag-aararo, gadaro, dumating ang isang lalaki. Isang lalaki, a man passed by, and not just any man, not just an ordinary man, a man with a mantle, a man with anointing, a man of God called Elijah. He showed up when Elisha was pushing the plow. Elijah, who carries the mantle of authority. Elijah, who has a prophetic ministry. Elijah, who had the anointing. Bible says. Ha! Alik diri ulik. Alik diri. Marvin. Nagkita sila. Nag-aararo. Walang kinalaman sa ministry. Pero nung makita siya ni Elijah, anong ginawa? Nilagay sa kanya. Oh! Amen. Kaya sabi ko sa inyo kanina, huwag kayong susuko kahit anong mangyari. Kahit siraan kayo, kahit manghina ka, kahit discouraged ka na, pagod ka na sa pag-aararo, huwag kang hihinto. Because there's a mantle, there's a mantle that is coming in your life. Say amen. That's why whatever happens, Just keep on praying. Minsan, gusto mo nang bitawan. Bitawan ng araro. Pagod ka na. Ayaw mo na. Sinong nakaranas ng ganun? Bugat na kayo ang responsibilidad na ako, Pastor. Dili ko na kaya. Don't give up. I said, don't give up. Kahit gaano kabigat yung binibit-bit mo, don't give up. I said, don't give up. Don't give in. There's an anointing coming in your life. Say amen. Because the Bible says, therefore, beloved, be steadfast. Be immovable. 
always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor will not be in vain. I said your labor will not be in vain. Say amen. Hindi mawawala ng kabuluhan. Lahat ng paglilingkod, lahat ng pagluhod mo, hindi mawawala ng kabuluhan. Amen. Nangalagad ka sa ginoo, hindi mawawala ng kabuluhan. Nag-discipleship ka, nag-cell group ka, hindi yan mawawala ng kabuluhan. Say amen. Palakpak sa ginoo, palakpak. Woo! Umaararo ka. Tumatrabaho ka. Nag-uupisina ka. Nagnenegosyo ka. Araro. Adlaw-adlaw. Ing naimong tapad, adlaw-adlaw, Diyod. Tanang adlaw. Hallelujah. Dugay na. Si Kinsa na dirig, dugay na, Diyod. Dugay na, Diyod. Kagaantos ba? Kinsa na mga nag-antos. Hallelujah. Pagkadugayan na yun, Pastor. Gusto ko nang bitawan itong araro. Gusto ko nang bitawan ang pulpito. Ayaw ko nang magpastor. Sakit ng ulo ang membro. Sabi ko sa'yo, don't give up. There's a mantle of anointing coming your way. Woo! Say hallelujah. Amen. There's a mantle coming. Huwag kang hihinto. Huwag kang susuko. Hindi ko alam bakit ko sinasabi ito sa gabing ito. Paulit-ulit kung sasabihin, huwag kang hihinto. Nag-isip kang huminto. Nag-isip kang ayaw mo na. Sa gabing ito, ang sabi ng Diyos sa'yo, huwag kang hihinto. Magpatuloy ka sa paggawa ng mabuti. For in due season, you will reap a harvest. Say Amen. Say, the mantle, the mantle is coming in your life. Amen. May kapangyarihan na bababa sa ating lahat sa gabi nito. Nakita ng Dios yung pagtitiis mo. Nakita ng Dios yung pagpapagal mo. Nakita ng Dios yung mga sakripisyo ng ginagawa mo. Nakita ng Diyos yan. Sabi mo nakita ng Diyos. Nakita yan ng Diyos. Amen. 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 Kung hindi ka hihinto sa pagsunod. Kung hindi ka hihinto sa paggawa sa kalooban ng Diyos. Kapatid, dinideklara ko sa gabing ito, may himalang darating sa buhay mo. Sabi ko may himalang darating sa buhay mo. May himalang darating sa'yo. Kung hindi ka hihinto, may himalang darating. May pabor na darating. May pag-angat na darating sa buhay mo. Sino kaya yun? Isiga mo ako yun. Woo! Hallelujah! Say hallelujah! Sabi mo sa kaliwat kanan, there's a mantle coming your way. There's a mantle. There's a mantle of anointing coming your way. Hallelujah. Amen. And that mantle will break every yoke of bondage in your life. That mantle will break every yoke of sickness. Every yoke of poverty will be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Isaiah, Isaiah 10, 27. Basahon, basahon natong tanan. Unsay giingon sa Isaiah 10, 27. Ready? Read. So, it will be in that day. Karun na na. Sabi mo, karun na. Karun gabi eh, mahimo na eh. Hallelujah. Amen. That his burden will be removed from his shoulder and his yoke from your neck. And the yoke will be broken because of the anointing. In other translation, it says the yoke will be broken because of the anointing. I believe tonight there is a yoke breaking anointing in this place. Bondage breaking anointing is in this place. Devil rebuking anointing is in this place. Say hallelujah. 
the yoke will be broken. Nahum 1.13. Basahin natin yung Nahum. Nahum 1.13. Now, sabi natin now. Karun na na. Now na. Now will I break his yoke from off you and will burst your bonds asunder. In other translation, it says, Now I will break the yoke of bondage from your neck and tear off the chains of oppression. Kapatid, anumang bagay ang umaalipin sa iyo sa gabing ito. Naalipin ka ng kahirapan, inalipin ka ng sakit karamdaman, ninalipin ka ng kawalan sa gabing ito. Mawawala, matutunaw yan. Babasagin ng Diyos yan. It will be broken tonight. Hindi ka aalis sa lugar na to na hindi mababasag yung lahat ng gawa ng jablo sa buhay mo. Lahat ng kakulangan, lahat ng kawalan, lahat ng limitasyon. Say hallelujah. Every yoke tonight, I believe every yoke tonight will be broken. Some of us have emotional yokes. Marami ka ng binitbit na mga emotional yoke. Sige ka gaguol. Kinsa dire. Maga sige ka guul. Hindi mo alam bakit manggit. Nga mo manggit kung maguul. It's a yoke. Amen. Some of us here have spiritual yoke. Walang breakthrough nangyayari sa ministry. It's a spiritual yoke. Some of us here have marital yokes. Yokes in your marriage, yokes in your family. But tonight I decree and I declare every yoke will be broken in the name of Jesus. Woo! There's a mantle, there's a mantle. Thank you, Marvin. Hallelujah. Palakpakan nga natin si Brother Marvin. Dere na ka, Marvs. Dere na ka, dere ka. Sa drums, hallelujah. Drummer din yan. Palakpakan nga natin yung mga musician natin. I need a keyboard. Hallelujah. Amen. The mantle. Si Elijah. May bitbit na kapangyarihan. May bitbit ng langis. At nung makita ang Elijah. Meron bang mga Elijah sa gabing ito na handang tumanggap ng mantle of anointing. Are there any Elishas in the house? Can I hear your shout? Hallelujah! Woo! Glory, glory, glory. Bondage will be broken tonight. Amen. Some of you here, you've been carrying that problem for 10 years. Sampung taon mo nang binibitbit ang problema niyan. Pero sa gabing ito, that problem, that yoke in your life, that every generational curse will be broken in your life tonight. Paulit-ulit na sakit, it will be broken tonight in the name of Jesus! Lagi kang may utang, hindi ka na nakawala dyan sa utang na yan. Sa gabing ito, lalaya ka dyan. Sabi ko, lalaya ka. Ito ang gabi ng paglaya mo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, gabi mo to, gabi mo to, gabi mo to. Gabi ng paglaya mo. Lalaya ka sa lahat ng uri ng kawalan. Lagi kang hirap na hirap. Sige, kulang ang bulsa. Ang bulsa ba? Ugang pitaka, laging walang laman sa gabing ito. That financial burden, financial bondage will be broken tonight. I said it will be broken tonight in the name of Jesus. Woo! Say hallelujah. There's a double. I said there's a double coming tonight in your life. Double power. I said double power. Double power. Double portion. Double power. Double. Instead of your shame, the Bible says, instead of your shame, 
I will give you double. Napahiya ka ng ilang beses. Ilang beses ka na bang pinahiya ng Diablo? Ilang beses ka nang pinagnakawa ng Diablo? Ilang beses nang nagkasakit ang asawa mo? Pero sa gabing ito, in the name of Jesus, dinideklara ko, every bondage! Break! Break! I declare breaking. There's a breaking. I said there's a breaking that will happen in your life. Amen. Magkakabasagan. Amen. Lahat ng gawa ng jablo sa buhay mo, tatapusin ng Diyos sa gabing ito. Sabi ko, tatapusin. Tatapusin. Sabi mo, tapos na ang jablo sa buhay ko. Tapos na ang kahirapan. Tapos na ang sakit. Tapos na itong problema to. Sabi mo, tapos na yung problema yan. Tapos na. Humana na, humana na. Sa gabing ito, karong gabi una, mahuman ang problema ang bit-bit mo. Matagal mo ng problema yan. Pero sa gabing ito, tatapusin ng Diyos! Woo! Ha! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why Galatians 6.9 says, Do not get tired. Do not get tired of doing good. Amen. Do not get tired of doing good for in due season. Kapatid, due season mo na to. I said, this is your due. This is your due season. Naka-due date na. Naka-due date na ka. Kana bang mga anak pag due date na bitaw? Sakit na kayo, no? Kinsa din ang anak na, mga nanay. Pag hapit na, magawas ang bata. Sakit na kayo, no? Kaya pala marami ka ng sakit na nararanasan. Amen. Kaya pala samot saring problema na ang dumarating. Kasi it's your due season. I said, it's your Jew! It's your Jew! Amen. Say amen. I sabi, don't get tired of doing what is good. For at the right time, at the right time, this is the right time. Ito na ang tamang oras para sa'yo. Sabihin mo ulit sa kaliwat kanan mo, ito na, ngayon na ang tamang oras. Tatanggap ka sa gabing ito. Lalaya ka sa gabing ito. May himala sa buhay mo. Sa gabing ito. Hallelujah. Woo! For in due season. Kaya mahalagang hintayin mo yung due. Amen. Pag bills ang dumarating, ayaw mo. Kung due date ng bills ng babayaran, ayaw mo. Pero itong magandang due na darating, for in due season, you will reap. I say you will reap. Reap. Anihan na itong panahon natin ngayon ay sinasabi ko sa inyo. Anihan ang panahong ito. Anihan ang kaluluwa, pastora. Yung lugar na to, kulang na to. Magkukulang to. Mapupuno, aapaw. Anihan ang kaluluwa. Yung iba na bubulok na nga. Eh sabi ko sa inyo, umararo na kayo. Amen. Go out into the field for the harvest is ripe. Do not say it's not yet harvest time. Jesus has looked to the fields. The harvest is ripe. The harvest is ready. Say amen. Pag nangitian mo nga lang ngayon yung kaluluwa, nangitian mo lang. Kasunod niyan, patatanggapin mo na yan. Amen. Nataparan lang ni mo. 
sa tricycle. Hallelujah. Tatanggap na rin yan. Amen. Humingi ng panalangin sa'yo. Pinanalangin mo. Gumaling. Hallelujah. Ligtas na rin yan. Say amen. There's a harvest of souls. There's a harvest of finances. Because the Bible says you will reap not just one harvest. Not just two harvests. But the Bible says you will reap a harvest. Narinig nyo ba yun? A harvest. Ang, uh, ang anihan, dili na ginagmay. Daghan ang aanihin. Sik, sik, lig, lig, umaapaw. Amen! Kaya kung magtatanim ka ngayon, ngayon ang pinakamagandang panahon ng pagtatanim. Amen. Kasi may sinabi sa Amos, habang nagtatanim ka, nagtatanim ka pa lang, umaani ka na. Nagpapangabot yung nagtatanim at yung umaani dahil sa dami ng aanihin mo. Ay! Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sobra, sobra, sobra ang ginoo kung maghatag sa ito. Ah, amen! Gidusok sa Bisaya pa. Ano sa ito, Pastor? Ha? Ginatantan, ginadusok mo na na. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's harvest season. I said, there's a harvest coming in this place in Pagadian. I decree and I declare, there's a harvest in Pagadian. Harvest in Polanco. Harvest in Dipolog. Harvest in Mindanao. Woo! Say hallelujah. 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 So whatever you've been working, whatever you've been pushing, whatever you've been breaking, Pastor, gahi kayo. Ang iyang kasing-kasing perting gahi. Ah, hangtod ron, ayaw mo simba. Ayaw, ayaw. Huwag kang gigib up dyan sa asawa mong yan. Amen. Bisang pakagahi sa kasing-kasing. Kung hindi ka susuko, susuko rin yan sa Diyos. Amen. Whatever you've been sowing, nagtatanim ka, nagtatites ka, nagbibigay ka sa church. Hallelujah. Whatever you've been pushing, whatever you've been plowing in your family, in your ministry, in your business, in your workplace, I'm telling you, God is about to place a harvest so great, a harvest so big. Because He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all what you can ask think or even imagine Ephesians 3.20 kaya ng Diyos gawin yan paniwalaan mo kapatid sabihin mo kaya ng Diyos to kaya ng Diyos gawin can I hear an amen amen alam ko sa lugar na to at sa bawat nandito sa gabing ito, there's a supernatural thing coming your way. Something exceeding, something abundant, the supernatural, the extraordinary, yung hindi pa nakita ng yung mata, hindi mo pa narinig, hindi mo pa naranasan, hindi mo pa narating, mararating mo. Yung hindi mo pa naranasan, mararanasan mo. Yung hindi mo pa nahahawakan milyon-milyon, mahahawakan mo yan! Woo! Say hallelujah! It's coming your way. I said it's coming your way. 
You've been praying. You've been serving God all throughout this year. There's a mantle. There's an anointing. There's a harvest coming your way. Sabihin mo sa sampung tao, tumayo ka ngayon. Sabihin mo, there's a harvest coming our way. May parating, may parating na pagpapala. Sampung tao, sabihin mo, may ibubuhos nga panalangin. Muulan dire. Muulan o pagpapala. Ola ng pagpapala ng Himala! Woo! It's coming. Darating yan. Darating yan. Woo! Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Say hallelujah. Shout glory to God. Shout the name of Jesus. Say, Jesus. Jesus. It's coming. It's coming. The anointing. My blessing. It's coming. Abangan mo yan. Sabihin mo, abangan mo yan. Darating yung pabor. Darating ang pagpapala. Darating ang himala. Sa buhay natin, sa buhay natin. Amen. Darating yan. Amen. At pag dumating, pag dumating, <laughs> sabi mo, balitaan mo ko, ha, ha, ha. Hoy, i-message, i-PM, ha. I-post na yun, hashtag. Hallelujah. Amen. When the mantle nung dumating si Elijah sa buhay ni Elijah na ibaba na ibaba kanino kaya ito maibaba Hallelujah ha! Na ibaba sabi ko dito kaya may bababa ang kaya dito meron kaya Malakas dito. Dito kaya, sabi ko, may na, naibaba. Ah! Nung maibaba, yung balabal. Sa, 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 binisaya na toon sa ni. Ha? Mau na na. Ha! Nung ma- Amen! Tanggapin mo. Kapatid, tanggapin mo yung double portion mo in the name of Jesus. Woo! Nung may baba ang balabal ni Elijah, andi itong kuwan di, likuranan. Ang upuan. Ali dong, balik ka diri ikaw naman. <laughs> Gadaro, si pagdaro sa May baba ang balabal. Yana ba? Ang ginawa ni, ni Elisha na ibaba ang balabal. Binitawan. Binitawan ang daro. Binitawan ang araro. Kapatid, pag naibaba ang balabal, ang anointing, may mga bagay kang bibitawan. May mga bagay may mga tao ka nang bibitawan. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, yung problema yan, bibitawan mo yan sa gabing ito. Pag naibaba ang anointing sa buhay mo, huwag kang magtataka. May mga tao kang bibitawan. Because there are people who are good to you, but they are not good for you. Amen. May mga tao, buutan man sila, no? Buutan raman. Pero dili na sila makaayos sa imo. Amen. Yung mga taong kukunin ang oras mo, chichikahin ka, chika-chika, diri, dito. Ah, sigig pang libak, diri, o dito. Bitawan mo yan. Amen. Amen. 
Yung sakit karamdaman sa gabing ito, pag naibaba ang anointing sa iyo, bitaw-bitaw tayo. Yung kahirapan sa pamilya mo, kawalan sa buhay mo, bibitawan mo yan sa gabing ito. Sabi ko, buhi e na na. Karong gabi, buhi e. Ayaw na kopte. Amen! Kahirapan, sakit, karamdaman. Yung galit sa buhay mo, bitawan mo na rin yan. Sige ka ka selos, bitawan mo na rin yan. Sige ka suko, bitawan mo yan. Amen? Kasige pamakak. Amen. Sige promise kay Pastor Rap. Promise lagi Pastor Rap. Pero wala may nahimo si mong promise dahi. Sa gabing ito, bibitawan mo na yan. Bitaw, bitaw. Amen. The pain, the hurt in your life. Nasaktang ka. Nasaktang, hindi sa labas, nasaktang ka sa loob ng church. Kasamahan mo sa church ang nakasakit sa damdamin mo. Sa gabing ito, magpatawad ka. Bitawan mo na. I-release mo ang pagpapatawad. Amen. Amen! Napakasakit kasi ka-church pastor, pastora, leader ko. Sinaktan ako, let it go. I said, let it go. Ingon nga sa kanta, let it go. Let it go. Hallelujah. Amen! Your past, let it go. Amen! Yung nakaraan sa buhay mo, bibitawan mo na yan sa gabing ito. If any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Amen. Yung mga addiction sa buhay natin. Na-addict ka na dyan. Unsa may imong ika-addictan ka ron. Dili sa bato. Pero minsan, adik tayo sa... Ha? Alam nyo na kung ano yan. Bahala na kayo sa Diyos. <laughs> Bitawan mo na yan. Can I hear an amen? Let the past be the past. Can I hear an Amen. I love what Dr. Luke said in Acts 13, 22. Pag may binitawan ka, anong sabi sa Acts 13, 22? Pag naibaba yung kapangyarihan, yung anointing sa buhay mo, binitawan mo ang isang bagay, ang mga taong hindi makakabuti sa iyo. Hallelujah. Kaya mamaya pag uwi nyo, tignan nyo yung yung mga contact list nyo sa telephone. Yung mga taong hindi makakabuti sa buhay mo, delete. Mga pini-em sa'yo na hindi makakabuti sa'yo, delete. Amen. Tinext ka ng kung ano-ano hindi makakabuti sa'yo, delete. Amen. Matuto tayong mag-delete. Amen. Burahin mo na yan. Sabi ni Saya, Oh, na na. <laughs> sa ingon sa Acts 13, 22. Ha? Acts 13. Sige, basahon natin tanan. And when he had removed him. Kinsan eh? Si Saul ni. Ang giingon ani. Si Saul, tinanggal ng Diyos. Ang Diyos nagtatanggal. Alam nyo ba yon? Amen. Nagtatanggal ang Diyos ng hindi tamang tao sa buhay ni natin. Amen. Kaya pag na, wag ka na magulat pag nawawala, ibig sabihin inaalis. 
Amen. At pag may inalis ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyo, He raised up for them David as a king. Can I hear an amen? When God removed something from you, if God took it away, He's about to replace it with something better, something bigger, something greater. He removes soul. And replace David. There's a David coming in your life. Kapalit ng Saul, may David na darating sa buhay mo. Amen? Ito yung Acts 13.22. Tayuan natin ngayon. Kaya tayo mga pastor, may mga tupang nawawala, okay lang. Huwag mo nang iyakan. Ayaw kasuko, ayaw iyak. Amen? Kasi mas may higit na kapalit. Sabi ko may higit na kapalit. Learn to let go. If they go, give them the gift of goodbye. Amen. Bye-bye. Sabi natin tanan. Kita ang tanan. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Amen. Amen. Ibalhin sa ubang simbahan. Bye-bye. Amen. Don't you know it's good to say goodbye? Kaya nga, goodbye. It's good to say bye-bye. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Kasi lahat ng nawala sa atin, hindi man yan, anumang bagay yan, kapatid. Everything that the enemy has stolen in your life, I decree and I declare tonight, everything that, that the enemy has stolen has been broken in your life. It will be given back to you. Good measure, press down, shaken together and running over. He will restore you. You will recover. I said you will recover everything. Hallelujah. I myself am believing right now for divine recovery. Hallelujah. How many of you here are believing for, to, for God to replace everything you lost? Sinong naniniwala na may kapalit na lahat ang nawala sa'yo? God removes it, He will always replace it. Because this is the year of mantles. I said this is the year of mantles. The mantle of anointing is about to fall in your life. If you're ready to receive it, stand to your feet right now. Sige, tayo po tayo. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Salamat anak. Thank you. There's a mantle of anointing tonight that will fall in your life. And that anointing, that mantle of anointing will break every yoke in your life. Amen. So what I want to do tonight, I would like to call my husband, my senior pastor, to, to share the stage with me, to come up here with me. We will anoint the pastors tonight, the leaders. There are three things. That we need to believe. We believe that the anointing is tangible, but to operate in the anointing, you must love righteousness and hate wickedness. In Psalms 45, 6 to 7,
Psalms 45, 6 to 7. Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. In 7, verse 7. You love righteousness and hate wickedness. Therefore, your God has anointed you with the oil of gladness more than your companions. To operate in the anointing of God. To move to the next level. To see greater and bigger and larger expansion. Number one, you need to love righteousness. Are we here? God has ministered to us since yesterday, this afternoon, this evening. Hindi po tayo papayag na hindi po natin tinanggap ang mensaheng ito. Are we here? The anointing is not just reserved for the pastor. But the anointing is available to all born again believers. Do we have a born again believers here? Are we born again? And number two, to operate in the anointing, you must walk in love. Walking in love is walking in God. I said it again. Walking in love is walking in God. You want the anointing, but there is unforgiveness in your heart. No. To operate in the anointing, you need to love righteousness. God will anoint you more than your companions. Are we here? Could we say amen? amen. And third, to operate in the anointing, you must live a life of praise. There are three important, powerful things. We need the Elijah's anointing. This generation, I believe that God is raising up mentors who will mentor your marriage, who will mentor your leadership, who will mentor your career who will mentor your family. In every areas of your life, you need to be open that God is the one bringing mentors who will mentor the mentorless. Are we here? This is your divine appointment. This will be the last. God will allow us again to visit this place. Kung hindi pa darating ang Diyos, well and good. If God permits, we will just obey. But we want to impart, to deposit something great on the inside of you. Are we here? You cannot pour out new wine if the wine skin is not ready. If the wineskin is not available, if the wineskin is not strong, 
If the wine skin is not pure and holy, if the wine skin is not ready, if new wine took place, if the wine skin is weak, it will burst the wine skin. Mark 2.20 Are we getting something? Your wine skin is your heart. I believe that we're all ready. We're all available. And by the grace of God, we want to impart. We're not here to intimidate you. We're not here standing before you that we are more anointed than you know. We are just only a vessel. Kasangkapan lang po tayong lahat. We will just transmit the blessings. You know when you know in your knower, the spirit man. Alam mo, if the anointing is moving, you know if God start working. Tonight, by the grace of God, I would like to acknowledge the fivefold ministers, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers.